Welcome everybody to today's stream and today the big question is will Bitcoin lose support? Yes or no? You will find it out in today's video. Today I will analyze Bitcoin, Floki Inu, Beyond Meat, Expire versus BTC, Hasbro, Immutable X versus Dollar and of course Ethereum. And now let's start off with Bitcoin. Okay, this is the chart from last week. And as you can see, uh, for now, scenario is still playing out. Uh, somehow, <coughs> it's not gaining the 24,300 uh, area f uh, yet. And if we reject, then we will probably go lower. Um, if we gain, then we can uh, try to hold high. And I will make the chart invisible and let's start with the weekly we had a nice green candle again <clears throat> so it seems like yeah we also gain uh, gaining this 21,850 here and now for now we rejecting rejecting this high yeah okay from the weekly, I switch to the daily. Yeah, <clears throat> we had the first huge impulse. The second impulse was not so high as the first impulse. And now it's compressed and probably will break out soon, either up or down. So the scenarios I've drawn last week are still valid. So either we, we gain this whole area here, the 24,400, and then an enter on the pullback, uh, aggressive entry around 22,630, or where this scenario will play out, a rejection, we go lower and we try to hold here, or this one also still valid that we drop all the way to 18,216 area and try to push from there. So, so for now we're having trouble gaining this. If we gain, then here is the new entry, and if not, then we try to hold this low here, or this one, yeah, or even lower, but I prefer high as possible, of course. Okay, that was a very short analyze for Bitcoin. From Bitcoin, I will go to Floki Inu versus USDT and as you can see this is the weekly chart okay I will start drawing in some levels Also a nice green candle this week and the weeks before, a little smaller, but it's gaining this whole range. Yeah. So it might be interesting to find an entry.
and we'll switch to the four hour chart. Okay. So what do we see? A nice gain of the area. And let's see if we can enter on the pullback. I prefer the aggressive one to hold momentum. So let's say 0 0.00001509 and try to aim for this area. That's the aggressive entry. And there's also a defensive entry. That's this one, the 00001169. And try to break the current level, 3051. Or a third scenario, we gain the whole area and then enter on the pullback to try to break her higher. And let's see, this will be 158%, that's very nice. Okay, so this, these are the scenarios for the coming days for Floki Inu. From Floki Inu, I will go to Beyond Meat. So, a huge drop, look like a shit coin, but let's see what we can find. This is the monthly chart. <coughs> okay, switch to the weekly. Okay, so we have support here, uh, around $12.31. Resistance will be here, around $23.90. And then the next one will be around $38.14. I will change to the daily, see what we can find here. Okay, seem like, uh, yeah, it's gaining this whole area. So let's find an entry. No. Either the aggressive one and try to aim for the twenty three dollar ninety. Yeah. 
or the defensive one, the $13 area, and try to break the $16 area again. I'm not interested in the middle, in this one, the $14.26. And why not? Because the first target is here, and that's, yeah, 13% almost. But from here, it's much better, it's 23%, and that's worth it. Yeah, okay. That's, that's Beyond Meat. And from Beyond Meat, I will go to Expire versus the Bitcoin. It is a very low Satoshi coin, so high risk, high reward, of course. We'll start with the weekly chart. From the weekly, we change to the daily. What do we see? We see daily gain of this whole range here. This one is tested away here. Okay. Mm, I prefer this one. Okay, the 361 Satoshi seems interesting. And why do I prefer that one? I, this is already a little bit tested, uh, the wick here, not all the way down here, still small gap to be tested, but um, I prefer to see, to see the momentum as it is, okay. So I'll draw in some scenarios for the coming days, possible scenarios. <coughs> So an entry around uh, the 361 Satoshi and I try to break 900 Satoshi. For the, the gain pullback and the retest. Either way, the, the possible gains are huge. 100, almost 150%, and this one is 292%. Very nice. Put a tight stop loss under it. Yeah, okay. That's expire versus the BTC, Bitcoin, and from here we will go to Hasbro. Hasbro. Quite a lot of red candles. This is the monthly chart, by the way. 
and I will start drawing in some <coughs> levels. Okay, this is a rejection from this low. But we hold, hold, hold this low before and print it in high, high. And again from this area, <coughs> quite interesting. From the weekly, I will change to the daily. On the daily, it's a lower low. Okay. I will draw in some scenarios. In three, no. One, two. Okay, either we go all the way back to the start of the impulse and try to come back in this range, in the current range. As you can see here, here was the start of the this impulse. If you pick it up from here until you have 127 percent, very nice. I don't like this two wicks here. It's been bought up, but the pressure is downwards. It's a monthly rejection. So I won't, yeah, I, I won't um, dare it to enter a third time here. So I prefer to enter lower. And if we lose this range, then we will probably go all the way back uh, to the area of $33. Yeah. Okay, that's Hasbro. And from Hasbro, we will go to EMX versus the US dollar immutable X. Uh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. Um, if you want to follow weekly updates about the financial markets, I will uh, try to chart uh, different assets every Sunday. So please subscribe, smash the like button and follow. Uh, also, all the social media are in the banner. Uh, so you can click on it to go to the, uh, the content you want or to the platform you like. <coughs> yeah.
this is the resistance area the around the 73 uh, cent to 73 74 cents and you see it's rejecting here Did we make a daily gain from the last drop off? Yes, we did. I will change to the four hour chart. Okay, I will draw in some scenarios. But first, let me add a level. Yeah. Okay. So, either you you have an entry, an aggressive entry around 49 cents and try to break the current area or a defensive entry around 42.64 and try to do the same. And if you manage to gain right away, then I prefer to enter high, high around uh, 66 cents to try to break the $1.15. Yeah. Okay. That's it for Immutable X. And from Immutable X, we will go to Ethereum. So this is the weekly chart, uh, no, sorry, this is the chart from last week. And the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin is still the same. Bitcoin seems to be stronger. I will make this, uh, this invisible. Also, Ethereum didn't print a, a green week. It's currently red, while Bitcoin is green. And we also see more compression with Ethereum. It tried to print uh, <coughs> a new higher high here. It tried to uh, gain this week. So let's see what, how we will close it tonight. Okay, from the weekly we go to the daily and I will make last week's chart visible. You can see it. <coughs> it is compressed so a big spike expected either upwards or downwards but it will come we're almost at the end of compression and for ethereum the scenarios will remain also 
so so either pull back and try to find support <coughs> or again from the last drop off point here that's 16.45 and uh, and you can enter on the pullback probably a little higher or aggressive gain and then and there's an entry around 1590 but to avoid huge risks it's better to play it in price and what do i mean with in price um, when the price drops like this on the lower time frame there will be a new construction and uh, with a low and high high low high high and then you can enter on the higher low let's say on the five minute chart or three minute chart and that's how you uh, prevent the huge risk and put your stop loss under it okay so that's Ethereum. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this week's video. And see you all next week. Cheers. Bye bye.